Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of the interview experience by I Love Metallurgy with me, Harsh this time. Today we have with us our very special guest, Rachana Ma'am. She has recently secured an internship opportunity at Tata Steel Long Products. Hello Ma'am, many many congratulations and we are really glad that you have accepted our invitation. It's our pleasure to have you here Ma'am. Thank you Harsh, it's my pleasure to be here. Welcome Ma'am. Ma'am, moving on to our very first question. Ma'am, could you please give us a brief intro about the company and what will be your responsibilities after joining it as an intern? Okay, uh, so I am Rachna and I was selected for the internship at Tata Steel Long Products for the upcoming uh, summer months, that is 2022. So the company Tata Steel Long Products uh, offers a wide range of high steel products, uh, which will be supplying to all the manufacturing industries uh, surrounding in the industrial area. So I was selected for the graduate engineer trainee role uh, as an intern in Tata Steel Law Products. Okay. Now, could you please tell us about the procedure to apply for this company as an intern? Uh, okay. Uh, so this company comes to the on-campus internships. So we get to know this by our training and placement cell, uh, wherein you can apply it uh, from here. So the process entirely starts from uh, the TNB itself. So uh, initially, you'll be getting a form which you'll have to fill it up with all your basic eligibility details, uh, which include uh, the basic eligibility criteria are 60 plus percentage in your 10th and 12th standard and 6 CG and above in your fourth semester. Since for us, the intern has come, uh, I mean, the company has come in fifth semester, the fourth semester was considered as a criteria. Um, so this is it and later the rounds uh, we have basically two rounds for this internship we have the first round as a written test uh, which includes both cognitive test and technical test by cognitive i mean uh, there are sections of logical reasoning uh, verbal aptitude which includes uh, grammar comprehensions etc and uh, we have numerical aptitude as well so this is a written test and the second is a personal interview round, uh, wherein uh, the interviewer tests all your technical skills and abilities. So these are the two rounds. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, how did you prepare for this company? Like, what was your preparation strategy? Okay. So, uh, saying the preparation strategy, like we got to know from our seniors right in our second year that there will be uh, companies uh, based on Tata Steel that would be coming to the uh, on campus drives for internship opportunities. So I got to know from my seniors about this company. Uh, also that Tata Steel Long Products is an iron and steel based company and everything over the site is on how iron and steel is made and its products are made. So my strategy is that I entirely focused my uh, technical uh, ability in iron making field because that is what is going on for us in that semester. And also I felt steel making isn't yet uh, arrived uh, to my place. So I thought, let me be very strong in the iron making part. Alongside, I was also looking for some very basics in the other subjects like extractive metallurgy, mechanical metallurgy and all of these. Uh, and I would like to uh, tell how it really helped me in the two rounds of the internship drive. Uh, the first round, cognitive test, uh, I felt a bit easy because I went through all the basics and uh, have given the test. I felt uh, really easy in the technical part because uh, it was all very basic questions and multiple choice questions. And in the interview, my entire interview was uh, centered to iron making part. And there were literally no questions apart from the iron making. So this is it. Okay. Ma'am. So what are the types of internship? that they provide and is there any chance to get a PPO from this company? Okay, uh, so the company mainly offers a summer internship and right after the two months of internship, a GET uh, member does in the firm based on the performance, you'll be getting to know whether you'll, uh, you'll get a PPO in the company or not. So, yeah. Okay. Ma'am, is it an on-site internship? Uh, yes, it is an on-site internship. And does it provide virtual internship? Uh, actually, due to the COVID protocols last year, uh, there was some part which is uh, which has gone virtual, and uh, one month they ha we have to go to the on-site. Uh, probably there isn't any virtual internship offered by the company. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, is there any prerequisite to apply for this company or topics which one must be good at? Like as you told, iron and steel making is the part. Uh, yes, uh, there isn't any particular prerequisite uh, on a whole, but uh, coming to the subjects, I would say yes, iron and steel making play a vital role uh, because the interviewers who are uh, interviewing you, they are mostly the employees of the company who are uh, really good at the iron and steel based stuff because they'll be watching it every day. So most chances are they might focus on that part and they expect you to know some basics of uh, how iron and steel is made. So this. And do they ask the real time problem or like they ask the subjective questions? Uh, in the interview? Uh, yes. Ma'am. Okay. Uh, in the interview, it was mostly subjective. Uh, coming to my interview, uh, my interview was all, I believe that it was all driven by me because um, right in my CV, I mentioned my areas of interest as material science and iron making. So uh, when I went into the interview, the first question was, uh, what is the difference between metallurgy and material science? So from there it started and whatever answer I was uh, giving to the interviewer, they picked up a word or point from that and they continued the interview. So it was all driven by me. So whatever I put in my CV or what I speak, that is what is getting continued entirely throughout the interview. So, yeah. Okay. I'm sure we are in the final segment of this interview. Can you please share some tips to keep in mind for the juniors watching this? Uh, uh, one suggestion I would like to give to all of you is that please do go for internship or any training programs. If you're really interested in code, even if it is non-core, I would suggest do take an internship because uh, that is where you'll be getting to know things, uh, how it is going to be uh, at the working sites. So it is really important. Uh, also, we are hearing that government is more focusing on getting students doing internships and all. So whatever comes your way, just take up, uh, just work for it. And I would say uh, working along with presence of mind. Uh, my presence of mind would be like, if a company uh, arrives at your desk uh, to give your interview or for the placement procedure, just focus very uh, particularly on what the company is, uh, what is it expecting and all. Like this is uh, Tata Steel Long Products is mainly an iron and steel based company, which I mentioned. So here, if you prepare aluminum and are really good at aluminum, that doesn't work over here because uh, the company is expecting uh, in turn uh, that too in their company. So obviously they'll expect uh, some knowledge about the iron and steel making. So this is what one suggestion I would give. Just uh, focus on your presence of mind. Like when this uh, procedure starts, do focus on every point and just work on accordingly on that. Even if you do a lot of hard work apart from the main thing, that doesn't really work for you all. So this is what I would like to suggest. Yes, Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure we are done with our interview session. Thank you, ma'am, for taking time for off for this interview. I'm sure our viewers would have found this lucrative enough. Once again, thank you, ma'am. We are very thank honored you. to have you as our guest today. Thank you, Harsh. It was nice discussing with you. Thank you. Thank you. Adding a short notes for our viewer. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel.